So I found a lot of great things in the serving aisle. And one of the things that I came across was this really cool serving bowl. And I loved that it had this like great texture on it. So I'm gonna spray paint it with two coats of white spray paint. So once that is completely dry, then I'm gonna get out a color called Elephant by Waverly. And I'm also gonna grab one of my large foam brushes. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of that paint on the foam brush, not a lot, cause I want this to be a light layer. And then I'm just going to brush lightly that Elephant paint onto my textured piece. Now I'm trying to just do a top layer so that I really get that texture popping out. So you could always go back and add more paint. So start lightly and then you can always add more. I think this is a great decorative bowl that you could put as a centerpiece or out on your countertop. I love heading to the Crafter Square at Dollar Tree. There's always so many great finds. One of the things I found were these wood oval pieces and I picked up three of them. I started by drawing a line on either side of my pieces where I wanted to cut it off with my saw. Next, I lined all three pieces up and cut them with my saw. And I repeated this on the other side as well. Now after you're done cutting your pieces, if you have any rough edges, you can always sand those down. I grabbed some magnets at Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna hot glue those to the back of my wood pieces. And I think these make really nice looking magnets on my fridge. So I love this time of year when there's all these huge serving platters and I found this really cool one at Dollar Tree. They usually don't have serving platters this big so I had to grab it because I thought it would make the perfect coffee table tray. So I'm going to spray this again with two coats of white spray paint and then to dress this one up I wanted it to have a distressed look. I'm pulling out something that I haven't used in a while, which is my vintage effects wash that has been sold out on Amazon. I've probably just been like hoarding it so that I don't waste it. So I grabbed that and a Dollar Tree brush and I'm just going to lightly brush it around the edge. Now, whenever I'm distressing, I really don't know how it's gonna turn out. So what I like to do is add different layers until I'm happy with the outcome. So I'm gonna brush it around the edge and then I'm going to take a paper towel and wipe away so it's not too much at all. Next, I decided to use a black paint pen from Dollar Tree. These paint pens are bomb. Like they are awesome at Dollar Tree. These are some of the best paint pens I've used. Like if you see them, buy them. I'm just gonna lightly go around the edge of my piece. I'm gonna go back in, add a little bit of brown until I'm happy with the look. That's the awesome thing about distressing is it's totally personal preference. You add as little or as much as you like. And then I'm just going to add some decorative elements, but I think this would be great sitting out as a coffee table tray. It would also be great in like a centerpiece on your kitchen table. So I went ahead and picked up three of these glass vases at Dollar Tree. These are pretty easy to find, so you should be able to find them at most Dollar Trees. So to create that fun lantern look, I bought some reed basket weave off of Amazon and I'll link below to the particular one that I picked up. So I started just by measuring out my strip. So I measured out a strip that was going to go up and over the top of my clear container. And then I also measured one that was going to go around the base. So I had three that were longer and then I had three that were smaller. I wanted these to have like a gold coppery look to them. So I started by spray painting them on both sides with a rose gold color. 
once I completed the rose gold, I realized that it really wasn't the color that I was looking for, that I wanted something a little bit more coppery. So I grabbed some of my acrylic paints. I had like a brown and kind of like a goldish color. I just added those paints to give me more of that desired look I was going for. That's the fun thing about paint. You can always add to it to get the look you're going for. Now to adhere these to my container, I thought I was going to use hot glue, but then I decided to use E6000. So I put E6000 on either side of the glass container. Then I pressed my, I guess I'm gonna call it my reed basket weave onto the containers. And then to let it dry, I just took some painter's tape and wrapped it around the containers. Let these dry for, I probably let them dry overnight before I took the painter's tape off. Then to wrap around the basket weave at the bottom, I just used hot glue. And I repeated this with my other two containers. To finish them off, I just added in some candles and I love the way they turned out. Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.